September 4th, 2018, which means that I am here in Latin America for already 19 days. Woohoo! But the story about which I want to tell about doesn't start today and doesn't start here. It could seem like an old star fairy tale if I use the words that start somewhere far, far away, but I try to be more precise and tell you that it was exactly 9,958.6 kilometers from the place which I'm in right now in a small city called Martin where I was originally born. Martin is a northern city in a small European state named Slovakia, surrounded by beautiful mountains and it is home for more than 54,000 people there. And also it is a place where all my childhood dreams were born. And you know what all adults tell you about your childhood dreams when you are a kid? Oh, you will grow up from this. Oh my gosh, that's cute! <laughs> that's funny. Today's story is not only proof that it is possible to make a dream, it is also possible to grow into it. And one of my biggest dreams was truly inspired by this person. Her name is Mrs. Jana Stihlikova and she was my first Spanish teacher ever. And you know, in your life there are a number of people who you truly honored like an authority, especially if you are in that stage like the teenage girl and doesn't believe in authority at all but she is definitely one of them because she not only teach me spanish she really in our classes build a curiosity and positive vibes and teach us how to love latino countries <laughs> We were there like a group of 16 teenage girls and every time we smiled a little bit more than it was like expected that she then she asked oh, ¿qué pasa, chicas? ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> because we were disturbing so much we laughed a lot <laughs> ¿Qué pasa, chicas? ¿Qué pasa? and ever since I always know that I want to go there and a few years later here we are I'm recording this video from Lima Peru I don't want to pretend that it was an easy way a lot of things in my life had to happen before I got here I'm a not big traveler at all so a few months before I searched the whole internet to find some useful information and found only some of them because you know when usually people do travel vlogs, no one shows you all the boring stuff about preparing, packaging, waiting. All of them just appear on the map to picture and are enjoying their day. I don't want to be the kind of blogger. I want to show you the good things as well as the bad things. But to do that, we have to go back a few days ago when my trip actually started. morning guys uh, it's Tuesday August 14 about 12 o'clock I just woke up I know maybe I look horrible because me and my room is totally mess right now but still I want to capture it because um, this is my last day at home and um, I'm sure that one day I will look back on uh, all these and we'll have a lot of fun watching we had a little party goodbye party in our flat with uh, my roommates yesterday totally epic it is time to um, wake up get my shit together basically get all things done that needs to be done this is it it's happening tomorrow all stars the biggest adventure of my life and i wanted to be prepared as much as possible fingers crossed i will show you all morning guys it's august 15 about half past eight and i'm starting my journey which would take more than 40 to 43 hours from now <laughs> after almost 10 hours of packaging and preparing done completely ready I'm a little bit tired uh, but I hope that I will rest in Amsterdam I guess 16 about 5 o'clock in the morning and I just um, woke up in my hotel I slept in a hotel right in the Amsterdam Schiphol uh, airport 
it's called Yoto, it's just a little space, little cabin to rest before your next flight. Oh my gosh, the bed is so comfortable, so I sleep really well. Next flight uh, is uh, almost uh, 10 hours flight to USA, Atlanta. Uh, then about 6 hour uh, transit time and then I'm going to continue with my 7 hours flight from Atlanta to Lima and then I build there. Nothing difficult. I am a uh, really really good mood today. Yesterday I was a little bit stressed. Um, it was just strange uh, mix of feeling exciting scared i was really tired from packaging and holding but i say goodbye to my luggage in vienna and um, fingers crossed that i will see in lima as um, any women uh, from the airline tell me try to uh, track my baggage via like the uh, code uh, from uh, boarding pass but actually this application from Delta Airlines still show me that uh, my luggage is in Vienna. I hope it's not. Uh, actually I saw my baggage. Yeah, very united for a moment uh, because um, in the arrival uh, uh, I saw it on the baggage reclaim area and uh, the guy told me that uh, I have to pick up at 5 meters from that point. I um drop it off again uh, to my connecting flights airport in amsterdam is pretty big on my scale this airport is fucking no joke it's so huge that if i connect like all cities that i have ever lived in it will be still small we have a these uh, kind of smart things like uh, Google, <laughs> like uh, uh, airline application, like websites um, where you always can find a map of the airport so you can navigate like uh, wherever you want. You just need it to um, click on the, or your start point and your final point and it will be all good. A couple of uh, people <laughs> just wrote me and um, Wish me good luck, safe journey, and so well. So I'm, I'm so pleased with that. You are so sweet, guys. Uh, the most difficult thing about this um, traveling is that actually I travel alone. Because every time, went to some holiday or something like that, we are airplane. I uh, had someone with me friend, boyfriend or I don't know, family. It is not bad at all, but actually uh, the worst thing about the travel is always about waiting. You are waiting for check-in, you are waiting for opening the gate, you are waiting for boarding, you are waiting in airplane, you are waiting probably all the time and uh, uh, it is a little hard to me uh, not talking like to anyone. I made promise to myself to be present in this uh, trip, in this whole Lima trip, in this adventure trip, because so much time we spend on social sites, uh, communicate with our friends and with our significant others, and uh, we are missing the world outside of us. There's nothing gonna happen on this trip. I'm focused to enjoy the time uh, of this adventure. And it's a little bit difficult uh, so far because uh, you are alone in all this time of traveling and all this time of waiting for something. Actually people in airports uh, um, uh, with um, which I'm talked to um, like the, I don't know, security people from airlines, um, people from food court and so on are so... Um, <laughs> kind everyone but uh, it's not like something that uh, you can um, get a relationship or spend some funny time on airport uh, if you know like what I mean 
but still I'm enjoying it. It's not uh, something uh, to be said about. Um, I will get my breakfast, I have a salad from uh, my dinner, then I will probably get my shower and then I will continue with my journey right to the Delta Airlines check-in. Uh, my flight is on time. Uh, last time I checked it, it was uh, in the evening, so yes, I probably um, will check it again uh, right now. The most stranger thing that uh, now I have to do is actually uh, get my winter clothes. Here in Amsterdam uh, was yesterday really hot, like about 26 or 28 degrees when we um, Land it, and uh, now I'm expecting like about 18 degrees uh, in Lima. And, uh, I'm a little bit scared. Six hours to transit in so much uh, big airport at Atlanta, it's not enough. I will take my uh, winter coats uh, in Amsterdam already. And Lima is actually like the seven hours minus from our time zone, so maybe just like like a bitch is waiting for me yeah but um we will see i'm still excited i'm still an optimist and um i will be still in touch ciao tani <laughs> ciao ciao tani ciao ciao tani zdravim ťa tani ciao Neviem, kde teraz momentálne si, niekde v oblakoch alebo tak, alebo kde to pozeráš, ale my mám pre teba prichystané žiadne také akože otrepané reči, že ja neviem, zdravie, šťastie, alebo že dávaj si pozor, lebo to ty si budeš dávať pozor, akože... To už nemôže to padnúť, lebo aj tak proste, aj keby sa ti tam fakt naskytli nejaké problémy, tak viem, že ich zvládne, lebo budeš musieť proste tebe život nedá na výber. Batožinu nestratíš, to budeš pravidelne každých 5 minút pozerať na apke. Takto ti budem držať obidve palce. Hotel to zvládneš, limu zvládneš. Tebe sa nič nemôže stať, lebo ty všetko zvládneš. Prácu zvládneš super, jazyk ti pôjde super. A jediné, čo by som ti chcela popriať je... Um, aby si sa úspešne ku nám vrátila, aby si nezabudla na to, kto je tvoja rodina. Jediná rodina som ja. Najdôležitejšiu vec. A to je tá. Uh, aby si si tam nenašla žiadneho indiána, peruančana. Ja som stretla vlastne v Nemecku, ak si teda boli dosť sexy. Ja nemám nič proti iným rasám. Akože neboli možno na pohľad pekné, ale proste mali takúto charizmu, vieš. Dobre, románik možno. Však oni boli vypracovaní. Mm. Všetci mali proste tričko a gust a takúto atmosféru Latinskej Ameriky. Protože ktorú ty budeš zažívať každý deň, ty vole. Ja nechcem, aby si tam získala pána tehličku. Nechcem, aby si ho získala na Slovensku deti. No, ale neubovaš sa s ním vrátiť. Nie, že mi povieš, že ty máš tam pána tehličku a že sa mu stávaš. A veľmi sa teším na tvoje vlogy, na tvoje fotky, na tvoje príspevky a keď začneš vlogy robiť alebo začneš písať blog alebo niečo, tak to budem intenzívne pozerať a intenzívne budem ľudí tvojich odberateľov budúcich zháňať. Proste choď pláž, hory, výlety, loď, všetko. Proste pojedeš si svoje v Latinskej Amerike. Toto si splnila. Minimálne je to začiatok toho. Chod do toho, natoč zábery, natoč fotky, panorámy, vlogy, drón, všetko. Budem tvoj verný fanúšik. Viem, že uh, miluješ svoj DR a najviac na svete, lebo je úplne premakaný a nikto taký nemá ako ty, ale uh, podľa mňa nemaj výčetky, keď nebudeš mať na neho čas, alebo nebudeš nad ním sedieť 3 hodiny denne, lebo asi je dôležité viacej to, že čo tam zažiješ a že ideš sa na niečo pozrieť, ako to, že si to ideš napísať. A hlavne sa vráť, aby si mohla byť dobrá teta. Tak dúfam, že si šťastlivo pristála, že máš všetko, čo k tebe patrí. Kufre, ruky, nohy, hlavu. Nepozeraš kriminálky. A hlavne plno, plno dobrodružstva a snov. Že toto si mala už od malička. 
sme boli proste na strednej a nikto nevedel čo kde bude, ale ty si vedela, že ty budeš v Latinskej Amerike. A to je jednočí diplomatka v Brazílii, alebo stažistka v Peru. Pozina. Všetky tie sny a vízie a nikdy nezabudnem, ako si hovorila, že kade všade tu cestuješ, takže ja ti to zase zaželám. Šťastné hviezdy, to je, to je najdôležitejšie, tam ťa to všetko ochráni a opatrí. A tak, tak toto chceš roky a toto chceš fakt od srdca a to si plníš a proste chod si za tým. To čo naozaj v živote chceš, tak to si splníš. Aj keď tam bude veľký časový rozdiel medzi, medzi Slovenskom a medzi Peru, skúsa vždy pozrieť počas noci, na Lunu, na mesiac a zaželaj si niečo, lebo na tej druhej strane budeme my. Vráti sa silná žena, si, ktorá zvládne všetko a jediné, čoho sa bojím, že mi oznáviš, že ona teraz už nebude žiť na Slovensku, že ona ide si do zahraničia, alebo získa také skúsenosti a tak si už bude chcieť prejaždiť celý svet. No, nech sa ti tam darí a šťastne sa vráť domov. Čakáme na teba. Verím tomu, že ťa pôjdeme s Maťkou čakať a že všetko dobre dopadne. Takže šťastnú cestu, veľa úspechov a všetko dobre. Mám veľkú prozbu. Dones mi domov, keď sa vrátiš. Velikánsky dar. Velikánsky. Téže. Tatianu Žáku. Zdravú a šťastnú a spokojnú. Prajem ti, aby sa mala v tej líme dobre, aby všetko dobre dopadlo a aby si sa šťastne vrátila. Ja viem, že vždy si chcela byť diplomatka v Brazílii, ale ja som si tak dúfala, že to ešte so mnou. To mňa na tom ubíja, že ty mi raz povieš, že odchádzaš do zahraničia preč, že sa tu nebudeme. Veď už teraz ma ubíja proste, že ideš na tie mesiace preč. A vieš, že bude, by si tam peru mala nejakú takú dušu blízku, nejakú kamošku. Ale iba na tie tri mesiace. Nech tam máš niekoho, ja nech tam nie. Temporary relationship. Aby si tam mala tú moju podporu. Akože v tebe to tak posunie vpred. Ja ti to ani neželám, lebo ja viem, že sa to stane. Proste to... Ja ti nemám čo želať, ja viem, že sa to stane. Ja to z teba spraví proste silnú ženskú proste, ktorá bude vedieť, čo v živote chce a bude proste... A pôjde si za tým, čo chce. A napriek tomu, proste, že ti to všetko prajem, tak už sa teším na to tom momentu, keď sa vrátiš. Všetka milujem ťa, strašne ti to prajem, neviem sa ťa dočkať napriek tomu, ale proste... Viem, že to bude pre teba to najlepšie, čo mňa žije doteraz. Nechaj ovládať strach z teba, dobre? Nech sa ti darí. E, Nezabudni nám doniesť magnetku. To je všetko. <laughs>
striving to meet your needs and continuously improving what we do every day. From our planes to our airports, to the look of our 80,000 professionals, we're always working to make your experience the best it can be. Whether we're on this runway or this one, every detail matters. And together, we keep climbing for you. There is so, ma uh, so uh, many departures from Atlanta that uh, my flight isn't available for gate information yet. Uh, yeah, I will check it with the guy from Delta Airlines uh, at Delta Sky Club. He told me that uh, just um, basically printed me the new boarding pass and uh, told me that uh, uh, my gate uh, will be E7, like Eco and I have no idea how do he knows that because the boarding pass is not information actually it is written that uh, um, just see on the departure uh, TV and you will see I have uh, no idea how he knows that but um, the, eco, the E gate like the Eco 7 was like the key uh, word because the metro uh, which are connecting the gates also announces like uh, oh the next station is e gates like e like the eco so i suppose that i'm in the right place but uh, still i have a uh, um, lot of time till departure uh, still i had my hand luggage and uh, I do not want to uh, walking around. I'm not afraid that I will lose or something like that because I have my uh, the map airport in my telephone via Delta Airline application. But um, yeah, my hand luggage is still too heavy to handle it across all these huge airports. So I probably will uh, stay the somewhere close to my gate which probably will be e7 i hope for the actually walter from lima who have to pick me up um, wrote me during my uh, previous flight Soy walter <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> yes it, um, he sent me his picture of what he will be wearing and uh, he will be waiting for me with the uh, schedule with my name so i'm really excited i have never been experienced something like this before i definitely look gross uh, i have my gross hair i have no makeup for three days and for now i am let me guess. Thirty-fifth hour of my journey. I'm still not tired. I'm still um, excited enough for this. But definitely, I am the most excited about the shower, which I hope that is waiting for me somewhere in Lima. Um, it is a little bit strange to be in the United States of America, but an amazing experience. Even uh, if I won't see anything besides the airport. All the years I attended Chmag, which is the Czech Model United Congress simulation. And last year I pretended that I was Secretary of State of the United States of America, so I know. Uh, probably a lot about the US. Uh, I lived in the row for one week in the year, every year for five years in the row and actually this will be the first year uh, which I won't attend this uh, perfect game. A little bit of pity but um, come on I'm in uh, USA right now. I'm experiencing it, I live it, uh, maybe I'm not the Secretary of State yet but <laughs> it is a super feeling to be already here feel it enjoy it see it when you walk through the gates uh, they have like the historical lines oh by the way there are carpets everywhere and they have like the historical lines which uh, you told about atlanta history about the u.s history about oh my gosh it was so fascinating i, <laughs> I could spend 
my whole time between the flights there and it, it won't be enough for me. People here are really kind. I was a little bit stressed about the security control and about the ESTA confirmation and so on, but actually uh, I just uh, told that I'm just uh, passing through this country because you say it is my just my transit country unfortunately for this time yeah maybe the next time it will be my final destination yeah it will be no problem in the security line and uh, across all the airport are the airport stuff which navigate you through your all the whole journey actually it is so helpful and you could uh, ask anyone anything amazing yeah it is awesome <laughs> oh come on i'm in america like half an hour and i already use like the awesome word like like a fool i'm really exciting to be here and maybe a little bit over home so i'm not the experience so much that actually it this will be my last flight to Lima, which I should be like the most excited about all the world. That my final destination is uh, finally close to me, the closest uh, ever in my life, and I'm so excited, but little bit overwhelmed by Atlanta here in Georgia, cause it's really awesome. Actually, the one thing that I am excited the most is to feel like the day will change to the night because in Lima is uh, winter time and about 6 o'clock in the evening it's already the sunset. Seeing shorts in evening clothes with you From nervous touch and getting drunk Life works in that way that every time you are losing something, you are also gaining something new. It was sad to leave my family and friend behind, but on the other side, I came to the most friendly family I could ever wish. Un deseo. It's my head. 